have a goal of creating a sustainable community for like-minded adults who have a sense of adventure, have a sense of, of nature that they enjoy, like the outdoors, want to preserve the outdoors, want to participate in a unique community uh, in a mountain setting in West Virginia. Wild Rock is beautiful to start with. It's just beautiful and they've taken so much care in creating an infrastructure that is compatible to the outdoor rec lifestyle with the gorgeous trails, the proximity to the climbing, the proximity to the boating, um, and it's just been beautifully done. You can own two acres here but have access to a thousand and you can feel very free to travel that land uh, as if it were yours without actually having to be responsible for it. I don't know too many places where you can literally walk out the front door of your house and within 100 steps be in a national park. And, and we have that. We're right on the border of a national park. This is a playground. And unlike the Grand Canyon or some of the other uh, national parks we have in the country, you're not really allowed to live in the area. You've got to be so far away. It's hard to live in a place or have a second home that allow that access right there at your doorstep. A lot of the appeal and, and authenticity of Wild Rock is it's much more respectful of the land. The land came first and the land continues to come first. And you feel that in every pocket of Wild Rock. You feel that that was considered and won. It doesn't come in, throw up big gates, and sort of create an island unto itself, which I really like about Wild Rock. I like that they have welcomed the rest of the community onto that property to use the trails and access the climbing. Um, all of that to me speaks of a business and a location that is very much trying to fold into the community and be a vital part of our community. So as someone who's been here for a long time, that kind of um, philosophy that has informed the development I think is spot on and, and really um, well done. When you pull into the driveway at Wild Rock you get a feel that's very different than you pull into a regular subdivision. You know most subdivisions or home sites they knock everything down, they build the house and then they spend, I think there's actually even a formula, you know you spend 15 percent of your total gross on your house or 7 percent or whatever it is on landscaping. Well, the landscaping here at Wild Rock's already here. Ten years ago, sustainability was a new term that was just getting kicked around. Today, sustainability should be part of everybody's life. It's such an easy thing to live with, to modify your behavior so that your actions don't create hardship for future generations. The goal was to develop the land in the least obtrusive way. It's using what was here, which is some pretty amazing stock already, uh, geographically and, and, and botanically, to form a kind of basis for, for how people live in Wild Rock. It's still woodsy. And that's, I know that's not a very good word, woodsy, but it's the best word I can come up with. You know, the trails are really well done. The houses are, have gotten, um, our house, for example, has um, native hemlock. The house that's being built there is cedar. You know, they fit into the environment. So it's just a, a simple ethic that we would like people at Wild Rock to embrace and follow, uh, both with their design concepts, their use of materials, how they interpret the landscape, um, how they live when they're here. It's a beautiful place, nice people. You know, this is a, a, a community where uh, when you need your neighbor, you, you ask them and they're there, and otherwise, they're not messing with you. It's, it's the kind of environment where one could leave their home open if they wanted to, or leave the keys in their car if they wanted to, and no one would bother. Um, it's the kind of community where people stop and offer you assistance if they perceive you're having a problem. We have all this tourism coming through here, and now more and more I think we have people coming in with second homes and realizing the beauty of the area, they can raise a family here, or you, you get more and more climbers and boaters, private boaters, who are coming down and they see the draw of the area. 
West Virginia is a great place because it's in Appalachia. When people come to West Virginia as tourists, they think they're getting into a whitewater rafting experience. That's why a lot of people come here. They come here and realize the culture, the restaurants, the galleries in town, uh, the other activities around here in uh, southern West Virginia, just more than they've ever expected.